welcome back to Daily Vanity. I'm Zo and I'm Kristen Juliet. And recently I've just been to Bangkok and mm. I've brought back a few products that you don't really see in Singapore and I'm gonna give it a shot. So the first product that I'm gonna try is a matte nail polish. Um, it comes in a quite a nice like mauve pink shade and it apparently turns matte so we're gonna see if it really turns matte. And the reason why I'm starting off with this is because I'll give it time to dry. It looks more purplish pink. Yeah, it does. It's actually very smooth. It's like quite smoothy. I think it looks quite good. Right Let's just wait for it to dry. And this is only one coat. It's like super It's open. not bad. It's from a brand called Morning Kiss. So while we're waiting for her nails to dry, we shall try another product. I bought two eyebrow pencils. So this is a... Mine is actually a very normal looking one. You have a... Pencil and then the spoolie. Mm. Whereas Juliet's one is something more interesting. Yes, yeah, so mine is from Mistine. Mistine is actually one of the number one top selling brands in Thailand. I think they're famous for their mascara. Yeah. Correct? Correct. And then they have like a lot, a lot of products and you can see their advertisements everywhere in Thailand. It's very big. So this one is really interesting because it besides the normal like pencil, mm. right? The other side comes with uh, something like a brow mascara. Looks like a toothbrush. Yes, it looks like a toothbrush. So it intrigues me very much. I'm like, okay, we have to try this. <laughs> Is there too much product on the toothbrush? I have kind of, you know, like uh, scrape it off the top of the cap, oh, but okay. it seems to pick up quite a lot of product. So now, I don't know, it's a bit funny. Maybe I'm just not used to it. I'm gonna <laughs> try to wing it. And I think it's a bit too light for your Yeah! Brows. Then my hair's really, really <laughs> dark. So now it looks like I went to tint my brow, like a lighter shade. Okay, so I think for my eyebrow pencil, I finished my brows. It's a very decent eyebrow pencil, I would say, for 139 baht. This works. Not bad. I think not bad. If you're interested in looking for a, like a simple brow pencil that comes with a spoolie, you should try this. Let me just continue with the toothbrush. It does feel like it's working. Yeah, it's working. I think out of five, probably five, because yeah! it's really quite decent. And I, love, I love the spoolie because it's like hard enough. <laughs> so I think this is a unique product. Yeah. Uh, it, it takes a bit of getting used to. I think it's hard to get the kind of gradient if you like the gradient look, mm. which I typically prefer. Uh, but otherwise, it's actually pretty decent. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Right. We'll move on to our next product. Okay. The next product I have here with me is actually a Mistin product also. Mm. It's actually their 4 Cream Multi Lip Color. This is actually quite special. It's like a lipstick but you can use it in 4 different ways. And for me, I'm going to try this product from a brand called Bewitch. It's an eyeliner, uh, it comes in a pot and it has got like a brush. Mm. Yep. So okay. let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is how it works. So you can take out, you see the white? You can actually like turn your lip colour. Then there's a black, which isn't very black, it looks more like grey. Yep. Then there's the colour. You can twist it out, right? Uh, sorry, I'm a... I'm horrible like <laughs> Oh, oh there you go. So you have to cut it first in order for it to work. Uh, okay, so this is the red colour that I'm using. Okay, this is like a super bright red. I feel like just one use, right? And then this thing is ready. Oh, it's like a bit slanted. Uh. <laughs> it's spoidy. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to, try to gradient it now. What is this? I don't know, I just ate fever medicine and it's like... <laughs> nah. I think it looks nice on like people with very, very, very fair skin tone. It's like... Ta-da! <laughs> This product is good because it doesn't smell at all. I thought it would smell like a bit like those like very plasticky yeah, chemicals. Like smell. the crayon yeah. smell. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very scared. I'm very scared of that smell. And I've just placed the gold the gloss on it. It seems like it has a golden gold. Oh yeah, it does. There is a, a bit of like a gold sparkle effect to it. Alright, I'm gonna give the same lipstick a shot. I think it looks quite okay for you. Yeah, I think it's it it try the black. Not yet. Okay. It's actually just a very grey glitter effect. I'm just gonna apply my top lips and see how it looks. Okay, there is a difference, I think. 
Oh, yes, there is a difference. Yeah. I won't say it's like the venti yeah. black colour, but it makes it like... Which I think previously was more chilly red. Uh, yeah, so actually no. I think it's quite nice. It's not too bad. You can rate this product mm -hmm. out of 5. Uh, because the colour isn't for me, so I would have to say 3. I think the colour actually looks pretty okay on me. Yeah. So I'll give it a 4.5. Reasons because it's just one product but you get 4 different effects. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of fun to play around with. Plus it's very very moisturising. So true, true, true. it feels quite good on the lips. And also I think I like that there's no, sm there's no weird smell. Like mm -hmm. what you mentioned just now. Yeah, there's this like quite nice Thank fruity God, there's no smell like to it. Okay, the eyeliner is nothing impressive, to mm. be honest. Uh, just a normal eyeliner. In fact, uh, if I get a choice, I don't think I will really buy it. Because the, the yes, the tip is very, very soft. Okay. So it's very, very hard to control. It kind of uh, transfers very quickly. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't dry fast at all. So okay. even now, it, you know, whenever I blink, it still kind of transfers to my... A bit yeah, la. a little bit on my uh, eye, under eye area. Mm. We'll only give this maybe like a... 2 out of 5 because it's very very black but yeah, everything else, the usability is really not there. My nail polish has dried Can I touch? I think. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's dry, it's dry. I will say this is very decent, so 4 out of 5. Definitely not 5 out of 5. Because there's still like slight bit of streakiness but mm. for the time it takes to dry, it's actually like quite worth it lah. So we've come to the end of the video and we hope that you've enjoyed it. So like and share this video and comment down below to let us know what are some of the products you always buy when you're in Bangkok. And if we choose your answer, uh, you get a chance to win one of these. Yes, it's the lipstick that we've tried just now. So you can try it for yourself also and see if it works for you. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.